Hello and welcome to Munson Made This. My name is Michael and I need to apologize in advance for doing a little bait and switch with you here. Uh, the image that you see on Instagram for this video and the thumbnail image were um, this dish, but what the um, original version of this dish was, the recipe on MunsonMadeThis.com uh, and everything is gonna reflect what that image is. But what happened was we had filmed a video for this, which was a flatbread with an edamame and avocado topping with pickled radishes and pea shoots on top. Uh, and the pictures came out great. I was so happy. Um, but the video ended up getting deleted. Ben wanted me to throw him under the bus because he was the one that deleted the files. And... Um, instead of going and shopping for the ingredients that I needed for it, because there's actually a few things that I didn't have on hand, um, I decided to kind of use this as a teaching moment. Oh, also he wanted me to remind you that this has never happened before. It's the first time he's ever deleted footage, so um, give him a break. But anyway, um, instead of going and shopping for the ingredients that I didn't have, I decided to do like a Tim Gunn make it work moment and essentially make the same dish, but use the ingredients that I have on hand. So this is part four, I guess, or episode four of my week of whole food plant-based recipes that all follow my a grain, a bean, uh, a veggie, a green, and a seed checklist slash paradigm. And um, yeah, I'll tell you exactly what each of the components is and uh, what it originally was in the picture and what it's going to be today. What I'm doing here is rolling out my flatbread dough, which this is a whole wheat flatbread dough. The recipe is on MunsonMadeThis.com. It's also linked below. And um, the recipe for this is on there. It's pretty much just whole wheat flour, salt, water, um, a little bit of gluten, which I actually forgot to put in this particular batch. But it makes quite a bit. And um, this, what I'm rolling out here, actually came out of the freezer this morning. So you can make a big batch of this, freeze little balls of it, divide it up, and then you will have it to make other flatbreads or you can use it as like a uh, wrap or use it to make kind of like flatbread sandwiches or tacos. Today it's going to be like a flat flatbread, more like a pizza. Um, and originally, like I said, it was going to be avocado and edamame, but because I ran out of edamame, I'm actually going to be doing it with peas. So I have some frozen peas here that's stripping, um, but I just thawed those out, rinsed them off. So that's gonna be there instead of the edamame. Uh, originally I had some pea shoots, which looks really nice on top, but I don't have any pea shoots. So I'm going to be cutting up some kale, chiffonading it, cut it, cutting it really thin and massaging it a little bit. And that's gonna be my green on top. So the grain is the whole wheat pasta dough. The bean is the peas. The veggie is going to be these pickled radishes, which are, uh, one of the things that stayed consistent throughout. There's also some onions in here. Um, my green, as I said, is going to be this kale. And then my seed, which is my source of whole plant fat, is going to be the avocado. So I have a cast iron uh, pan here, which is heating up. So I've already rolled out the flatbread dough that I'm going to be using. Originally, this amount here, which is a quarter of the entire batch of dough, originally I had cut this in half. Um, but I didn't feel like it gave me the kind of lift and weight that I wanted. So I uh, have decided just to use the entire quarter here. So I'm just gonna wait another second for this to heat up. Um, and I guess I can work on some other things while that happens. So let's address the kale. As I said, I'm gonna do like a chiffonade, which is just a really thin kind of ribbon slice. I've already rinsed this kale, so I'm just gonna remove the stem. The radishes, um, have just been in the fridge overnight. Of course, the pups come running when they hear this. They do love some kale. Uh, the radishes and the onions have just been in this jar overnight, soaking, pickling. Uh, it's just white vinegar, a little bit of salt. Um, one thing that's really great is if you use seasoned rice wine vinegar, though it does contain sugar and salt. So if you're watching your sugar or salt intake, you wanna just use plain vinegar like I did. So I've removed the stem. I'm just kind of stacking these up and then I'm going to just cut really, really thin ribbons. I'm gonna put this in a bowl here in just a second and use a little bit of the marinating liquid, which is just vinegar. And I'm gonna use that to help me massage this kale just so it gets a little bit softer and also adds a little bit of flavor to it. Okay, put this in a bowl. Hi, Hopper. 
you can't really see it, but Hopper is literally right here hoping that I drop a little bit of kale. Uh, I think my uh, my griddle's hot enough. It's actually starting to smoke a little bit. I have the smallest little bit of oil that I just brushed on the surface so that things don't stick, but that's the only oil that I'm going to be using. All right, so the flatbread is on there, and I'm going to let it cook just a couple of minutes on each side. Um, this was my silpat. I use this to roll out dough so that it doesn't stick to my counter. This is normally used for baking, but it is really nice for rolling things out. Let's go ahead and open up the avocado while we're here. So I'm going to be using an equal part of avocado and peas. So again, the original recipe was edamame, same thing, it was frozen. So I used an equal part in terms of volume of avocado and edamame. So I have just about three quarters of a cup of the frozen peas. And I have basically a half of a large avocado is gonna be about the same amount. My dough, you can't really see it here, I apologize, is starting to bubble up a little bit. Um, I do wanna make sure that it gets cooked through thoroughly, but it's getting nice and bubbly, which means the yeast in it is activating. Just mashing up this avocado. And like I said, I'm gonna use a little bit of this, look at that beautiful color. I'm gonna use a little bit of this pickling liquid to prevent my avocado from turning brown and a little bit of it in my kale just to give me something to help massage it down. Grab some tongs, see how my flatbread is doing. Ooh, beautiful color. One thing I forgot to get, uh, pardon me, I'm gonna yell for Ben. Hey, Ben! He's probably got headphones on in the other room. Uh, I'm gonna step out of frame really quick and grab a plate. This is not what you see in the thumbnail, but this is what I'm gonna be plating my flatbread on. Other than the dough, everything else comes together super quick and easy here. Pardon me, I'm gonna step out of frame again. Hopper's trying to get outside. I think more than anything, Hopper just wants my attention so that I'll give him some food. I shouldn't have started massaging the kale before touching my door, whatever. One second, okay. Flatbread is looking great. Kale, just getting it massaged a little bit. Just want it slightly tenderized. It just makes the color a little bit more vibrant as well. Odie, it's not the time to bark. The pups seem to always need attention when I'm filming. Odie. Odie. Hey, come inside. I apologize, the children, you know. Um, I also wanna add, a little bit of salt. Flatbread is done, just gonna take this off. Excuse me while I go lovingly tell my dog to come inside. Odie, get inside. Real cute. So not only did I have a video that got deleted, Beautiful images of food that I'm trying to recreate, but I didn't have the ingredients. I'm filming and the dogs go crazy. Real life, right? Okay, so I had a pinch of salt in here. There's a tiny little bit of vinegar. This is avocado and peas. That is done. Grill is off. Kale that is massaged. So I have my grain. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the peas are my bean. They're a great source of protein. In this amount here, in about a cup, you're gonna get about eight grams of protein, which is nice. So, protein and fat here, my green here, and again, my veggie here. So, looks like I'm ready to assemble, honestly. So, flatbread. And I'm gonna be eating all of this, so I'm taking this entire amount half of an avocado, and I'm just going to spread it out. Again, this dough could be divided. You could make smaller ones. That's your speed. Love this color, beautiful green. And I love the sweetness that the peas give to the avocado. I know there was like a thing on the internet a while ago where it was like, People were freaking out that people were, uh, I'm actually gonna use a rubber scraper because there's a little bit more 
avocado in here and I wanna make sure to get it all. People were diluting guacamole with peas. I remember that being like a thing that people were freaking out about. There we go. Don't wanna miss a drop. But I actually like the combination of avocado and peas. Again, the peas add a nice bit of sweetness. Really good. All right, so pickled radishes. You could use whatever your favorite pickled vegetables are, but I, I think it's important to use something that's pickled um, or at least fairly acidic because you have such the richness with the avocado. Um, you want to cut through that richness with something. I also just love the crunch, the sweetness, the kind of funk that uh, pickled radishes give. I'm gonna admit that it's not the most pleasant smell. I don't know what it is about the radishes, but they kind of have like a funky aroma. But these pickled onions, pickled radishes, amazing. Great brightness, great flavor. And these are cool little tong tweezers. I did a video a little while ago that's all of my favorite kitchen gadgets and this is mentioned in there, this is mentioned in there. Pretty much everything you've seen me use is mentioned in there. So I'm packing these on. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and add my green. Let's just use it all. Why not? And the last thing I wanna add, I have some sesame seeds, but I think I'm actually gonna go for um, some everything seasoning. So even though my video was deleted, even though this here today is nothing like what you saw in the thumbnail that you clicked on, even though I had dogs barking and dealing with my children, uh, I still managed to put out this really beautiful flatbread. Let me get it closer to you here. There we go. So we have the whole wheat flatbread, the avocado and peas, the pickled radishes, the massaged kale, the everything seasoning. Smells delicious, beautiful, fresh flatbread. And of course, well, let's move it on to this cutting board here so I can cut a slice off and give it a taste. I actually might think that I like this one a little bit better. Okay, just giving it a slice like a pizza, evening out some of the kale. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I love that. I might really like the kale better than the pea shoots. Definitely glad I used more of the dough this time than I had originally. I might even like the peas a little bit better than the edamame. Scandalous. All right, so the moral of the story is making it work. I have this paradigm, a grain, a bean, a veggie, a green, a seed. It's a checklist. It's things that I wanna make sure that I get in every meal. It's not about perfection. Um, and the recipes that I'm putting out this week, it's not about following them exactly. It's about kind of seeing the inspiration and saying, okay, well, I've got this on hand I could use instead. Um, this would also be really great with white beans. If you mixed white beans with the avocado, I've done that before, it's incredible. Um, again, whatever your favorite pickled things are, um, even some like pickled peppers would be really nice on here. Any type of green would be nice. Spinach, you could even saute some things. So I think that having my footage deleted and having to reshoot this video has actually just like reaffirmed what I'm going for here, which is that it's not about perfection, it's about using what you've got, trying to make it work. And uh, normally if you taste along the way, which I guess I didn't that much today, I don't mean to be real preachy here, but <laughs> if you test along the way, you use good ingredients, you're probably gonna wind up with something good in the end. And this is a delicious flatbread, which I am very excited to finish eating. So thank you all for watching. Again, sorry for the clickbait and switch and showing you a picture of one thing and making something completely different. Again, the full recipe for the other one is gonna be linked below. It's on MunsonMadeThis.com. I'll make sure to make a note in that recipe as well of what I did here today. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Those of you that have, thanks for giving this a thumbs up, which you all are about to do if you haven't done it yet already. And that is all for me today. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new recipe video. 
which will be back to the normal style. This is the like old school one take Wednesday style videos that I used to do, which I kind of miss, but decided this was the best way to tackle this today. Anyway, all right, I will see you next time. Bye.